I think you mentioned, well, I know you mentioned that uh, WeChat was, uh, it was a terrifying moment when you talked about these messages between you and your family members, print, print offs of them being presented to your family members. Yes, it was the chat records between me and my mother and me and my sister, and they were shown to my father as printouts. So clearly there's no privacy on WeChat. Yeah, no, there's no privacy. Is that well understood by the Chinese diaspora across the globe? By the Chinese dissident, dissidents, I, I would say it is very well understood that um, people won't discuss very sensitive matters that will tip off the Chinese government on WeChat because it is heavily monitored. A little unfair for me to ask you to speak for the Chinese diaspora, the millions of people scattered across continents, but it, it does seem like it is uh, almost an unsolvable puzzle for people who want to communicate with their family members. Their family members aren't allowed to have any free, fair apps that allow for private uh, communication, encrypted communication. And the people who, uh, I mean, you, WeChat, I, I have to imagine dissidents don't want to use that app because they know that it can be used as a tool against their family members. Yes, that is true. But sometimes it is the only way to reach their family members.